The managing director of the Iran Aviation Industries Organization (IAIO), a subsidiary of the Defense Ministry, announced in a televised interview on Saturday that the Car Fighter Jet project has reached full maturity in technologies. General Afshan Kajiford said the Defense Ministry is working on the diversity of the final product, adding that the car fighter jet is going to emerge as a pilotless aircraft. A series of versions of car will be unveiled in the middle of the next Iranian year, which will begin on March 21, he added. The general noted that the Defense Ministry has made modifications to the car fighter jet to adapt it for the utilities of two military units. Kajiford also stated that Iran has begun to develop electric airplanes and is going to test two prototypes next year. Iran has fully gained the technical know-how to manufacture electric drones, but the production of manned electric planes requires more research and development," he added. The general also highlighted Iran's progress in the production of firefighting drones, saying two representatives from foreign countries have purchased this Iranian drone. The Iranian fighter jet Kar 313 was unveiled in February 2013. The single-seat stealth fighter jet can take off and land on short runways. Iranian military experts and technicians have in recent years made great headways in manufacturing a broad range of indigenous equipment, making the armed forces self-sufficient in the armed sphere. On Prest says, the CAR project has reached full maturity in terms of technology, but we are producing more diversified products. It means that by the middle of next year, you will see new versions of this aircraft that will be delivered to the armed forces, he said. The car project will emerge as an unmanned aircraft. Kajiford also emphasized that Iran is self reliant in the field of overhauling commercial aircraft and manufacturing components in defiance of sanctions. We have reached a level of self sufficiency in the field of engines. So that today we can produce 10 types of engines, most of which are used on drones and cruise missiles. Of course, our defense industries have also reached self-sufficiency in designing and making heavy engines," he added dot referring to electric aircraft. Kajiford said that the IAIO has started working on several prototypes that will be tested next YEAR of course. Our electric drones have reached full maturity, but manned eclectic aircraft require more improvements he explained. Touching on Iran's achievements regarding development of unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, he said. We have various classes of missiles, precision strike bombs, electronic warfare avionics and reconnaissance drones. However, we are trying to develop drones with civilian applications, because drones can be used for agriculture. Mapping and firefighting. Iranian military experts and technicians have in recent years made substantial headway in manufacturing a broad range of indigenous equipment. making the armed forces self-sufficient in the arms sector. Iranian officials have repeatedly warned that the country will not hesitate to strengthen its military capabilities. Which are entirely meant for defense. Meanwhile, Iran's then President Mohammad Ahmadinejad and Ahmad Bahidi, then the country's defense minister, unveiled the Car 313 at a staged event in February 2013.
officials claimed the plane could carry two 2,000-pound bombs or at least six air-to-air -air missiles. But the sleek single-engine, single-seat aircraft with the non-stealthy front canards and anhydral wingtips seemed off. Video footage of an alleged test flight likewise was unconvincing and clearly involved a small-scale drone. Photographs depicting the car 313 in flight over snow-capped mountains obviously were forgeries. Journalist Steve Weintz scrutinized the purported Iranian stealth fighter in the most old-fashioned way possible. He built a scale model of the plane using a kit from boutique model maker Fantastic Plastic. In so doing, he discovered that there literally isn't enough space under the car 313's wings for the bombs and missiles Iranian officials claimed the plane could carry. The size of the plane is weird, Sensiati continued. The cockpit seems to be too small, to such an extent a normal pilot doesn't properly fit in the ejection seat. Have you ever seen a pilot with his knees above the side borders of the cockpit and his helmet well beyond the ejection seat's head pad Alfred Wong, the pattern maker who crafted the master for the car 313 kit? found perhaps the most damning evidence of the car 313's fraudulent provenance. When I was examining the photos of the prototype mock-up, I guessed that they actually cut up an old MiG-17's wings for it the wings have a very distinctive plan shape Wong said.